Yo, what's up? It's the Far East Movement FM on your dial, and you are on popularity.com. Stay free wired. Lake G6 has completely blown up on the charts. Was this something that you expected, and can you tell when a song is going to be a hit? Um, to be honest with you, we, we just went into the studio, and, um, you know, we just made a song that kind of, uh, a, a day in the life, life of, a, of a Far East movement and we're just having fun with it. We actually had a song before that called Girls on the Dance Floor that did pretty good on the West Coast. And um, we kind of wanted to bring that song, that, that kind of flavor back into this. But we had no idea that it was going to blow up. We actually call it kind of a free wired moment because we made the song in like two hours with the cataracts and um, we went off on tour. We put the, the video uh, with the song online on YouTube and we came back three months later and checked on the net and all of a sudden had a million views on, the, on, 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 uh, on YouTube. And we're like, wow, that's that's crazy. We didn't even promote this. And um, of course, our DJ Verman, he was, you know, he sent it out to a lot of DJs, and they were supporting it. So it just really organically grew. And um, it wasn't until actually um, our A and R at Cherry Tree Records, Martin Kersenbaum, looked at the song, looked at the stats on it, and heard the sound of it. Was like, you know, why don't you give the song a shot? And considering that, you know, he's the same guy who broke, you know, Lady Gaga and worked with like, you know, the Black Eyed Peas and Eminem. We're like, yo, you know, that's the best stuff they do it. And uh, it's cool. It's, it's, but to be honest with you, it's just a really crazy ride, and uh, we're just blessed and thankful every day that, that, that it's happening. Out of everyone that you worked on the album with, who do you feel taught you the most valuable lesson, and what was it? Hmm, that's a really good question. Um, I would say that working actually with the stereotypes, um, there are, uh, they produced around six songs on the, on the album. But working with the stereotypes was, really, was amazing just because, um, you know, before that, before we started working with them, we were doing a lot of our own beats and meeting with a lot of different producers, but they really helped us. You know, we have, um, a very eclectic taste when it comes to our, our music and, um, they also do, and they have a very great, uh, range of dynamics so working with them was really cool because they could anything that we could dream up they could produce right on the spot so that was amazing and of course number two we got to give a shout out to um you know big snoop dog just because we grew up we're from off from downtown los angeles um and that's where we were born and raised and you know snoop dog is like you know as west coast as you know him and magic johnson are pretty much as west coast as you could possibly get next like palm trees and low riders so um you know, working with him was amazing, and the fact that you know, he's such a huge, huge, amazing artist, you know, who has, you know, multiple, multiple platinum records, and, you know, doesn't need to really work with, you know, young upstarts like us, but, you know, took his time to work with us anyways, you know, that just helps us realize that we gotta take it forward all the time. What are the key challenges that you face during your creative process? Um, I think the key challenges, if anything, it's just, um, to be honest with you, it's just a lot of fun. Like, we just, we, you know, making music is pretty much about inspiration, about the feel, you know, um, you know, maybe on a whim, like, we'll be at the club and, and um, you know, and, and the party's just jumping, the vibe is right, you know, we'll just blow out to the studio right away and just try to recreate that kind of feel. And the music that we make, I mean, it's been like, you know, seven years since we were working together and, of course, with the stereotypes, too. We turn, we turn the studio into a big party and um, we'll just all just throw out ideas and really just write songs together with anybody in the room, like, even, like, a, like, our, our next single, Rocketeer, that was, you know, co-written with Bruno Mars and, uh, and of course, with Ryan Tedder, and just having all these great people in the room and just, you know, really just trying to outdo each other and make the best song possible just because, like, you know, I, this is what we love to do and to, and to bring people into our party is something that, that, um, that, that we're striving to at all points. So, if anything, we're just... The one thing that I guess we get is sometimes we'll get over overcritical just because we want to make sure that the song is right. But other than that, it's a, it's a great fun process because we're communicating with each other, we're talking to each other, making sure that, you know, every step that we make, you know, from the process ground up from like the beat, you know, to the top process to, you know, what the hook's going to be to the verse, you know, everything is all laid out and, um, you know, and, and it's just really fun. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Rocketeer, I wanted to throw out a couple of song titles and get your initial thoughts. The sure. first song that I had down was Rocketeer. Oh wow! Well, that song's about promises. It's a it's it's a different style of a Far East movement. Uh, I remember Verman was saying that you know we had a lot of um, you know high party tracks, and then you know we, we needed one song that would uh, you know showcase a different style to us. And uh, of course we you know we wanted to make a song that was pretty much like you know a, a, it's a it's a love song pretty much where you're telling you know the, the girl or the guy that you love, and you're telling them you know I'll, I'll give you the world, you know I'll I'll buy you that ring, you know I'll get you those. You know, I'll get you that flat screen TV, 
um, you know, one day we're gonna move out of this one bedroom shack, you know, and you promise them that, and then they just have, you know, and then they have to have the faith that you can keep rolling on, but you know, you can rocket just your fly to the end of the moon to make sure that that happens. Mm -hmm. What about fighting for air? Fighting for air is just, um, I mean, first of all, we're just blessed to work with Fernando Garibay, who's a producer for Lady Gaga, and just an amazing, amazing artist. And um, Frank Music, of course, you know, Vincent Frank is just a, another, his vocals are just, he just really blessed us with that song. And, um, you know, that's, another, that's a song about game, pretty much, like, you know, you know just the most, you know, the, the, the way that you can communicate with the girl that you just really like, the moment you see that you're mesmerized, you know, you can't breathe, but you gotta spit your game because you only get that one chance because she might disappear the next moment. So, you know, you just gotta spit the best game that you possibly can. You know, my life isn't measured by the breaths I take, but the moments with you that take my breath away. You know, that's that's that type of uh, thing, hopefully that'll catch your interest so she want to spend another minute with you. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the biggest thing that you learned about yourself during the creation of the album? I would say the biggest thing that we learned about ourselves is that, man, I would say that, um, you know, it's it's just so much better to be, um, you know, to, to be working with a great team just because, um, you know, this was the first album pretty much, you know, once we got in with Cherry Tree and School Records where we were just filled with the team because before that we were all independent and, you know, everything was just pretty much tooth and nail, just working things out on our own. But to be blessed with great management, like Stampede Management, you know, Cherry Tree Records, of course, you know, DPD with Transparent Agency, working with our, you know, visuals, just all these, you know, stereotypes, all these great people that are around us. It just really let, like, let you be free and let you be the art, like, the artist that you really want to be. And, um, you know, and if anything, we learned that, um, you know, as long as you don't have any, you don't hold any boundaries for yourself, you have no boundaries. And that's the whole thing that we were trying to do. We were just trying to make, like, just, just really, you know, just really take our playlist, the, the iTunes playlist that we have, and, you know, that, that's so mixed up where you have songs from, like, you know, Beck, you know, to the Dog Pound, to, you know, some, some Daft Punk, you know, and all that type of stuff. And, um, and you know, if, if you have you know, thoughts, you know, fuse things and put things together. If you're on the right people and you have all the right tools, which you can make it happen. And, um, I mean, I don't know. Other other people might, you know, view our, our album differently, but that was something that we set up to do from the start. Mm -hmm. Can you describe your attraction to music? You know, it's funny. Um, a lot of people ask, like, you know, what, if you weren't making music, what would you be doing? And uh, we always talk about the fact that, just to be honest with you, we don't know. The moment that we wake up in the morning, all we want to do is, you know, write music or, uh, you know, work on our live set, um, you know, think about, you know, uh, get on our chat room and, you know, and, and, and talk with our different uh, people, you know, and get different inspirations and stuff like that. That's, it's all we really know. It's, we've invested our whole lives into it. And, um, I don't know, it's just a connection. You know, like sometimes when you, when you meet a girl or a guy and the moment that you see them, you just kind of know, you know, it might not work out at the very end of it, but you just kind of know, right? When you see them, like, oh, something's going to work here. This is, this is worth me, you know, you know, laying down my, my pride and, and, and giving it a shot. Like, that's kind of how we feel about music. It was like the moment that we made our first song together, you know, which we had, was actually called The Far East Movement. It's um, felt right the moment that I happened and uh, we just haven't looked back since.